G'day guys, today I'm going to be going out chasing a few flathead around the jumper pin area. Going to be flicking a few plastics, uh, mainly trick swims and diesel minnows. We've got some good conditions today, should be nice and comfortable out there. I think the, the highest the wind's going to get us around that 20 kilometre mark, which is a lot better than what it's been lately. I've sort of been fishing in that 30 to 40 kilometre mark and it's it's been pretty uncomfortable up there. So hopefully it'll be a bit nicer. Um, that wind has been shutting down the bite period a fair bit so hopefully today they're biting a bit better and we'll see how we go. Alright guys, start in the morning. I don't know if you can put the moon there. The sun coming up over there. It's looking really good here. Pretty much uh, not too far off low tide at the moment. But that's looking really good. And I can already see some bait flicking around, so I reckon we might get a couple here. Oh, there we go. He's not he's not huge. The 50s model. Come on, bring it, buddy. All right, on the board. It's been about five minutes. Got our first flatty. Yeah, so there's only, it's only just on 50. going to use a rag guys just make sure you wet it just protects their uh, natural oil uh, so that's a 50 centimeter one there we'll chuck it back and uh, get another one there you go mate swallow up good okay I'm flicking that plastic up pretty shallow there's a bit of weed there but if you're flicking it aggressively enough you'll actually flick most of that weed off Really nice to get a big one to start the session off. What we got there? A little baby. Yep, I'm cute. That was probably about a 35 centimeter flatty. Actually, quite like it when they um release at the side of the boat for me because I don't really like touching those ones. Always seem to spike here. There we go, baby, another baby. All right, so that's probably 30 centimeters, that one. Well, that's the third one we've hawked in about 10 minutes, so they're going all right. I just, I just can't handle these mosquitoes. I see them working. The problem is that water's so dirty, you pretty much got to land it on top of their heads for them to hit it. They just can't see anything. Just get a bit of scent on that. Just a bit of procure. The scent definitely does make a difference. Okay, so we're right on that edge there. Oh, I've just scared him off. That was a good flathead. Bugger. Okay. 
Time to give Bear Run a bit of a go. Fishing quite shallow here. I actually haven't fished here that often, so I'm interested to see how we go. Caught plenty of fish on the other side of this bank. There we go, baby. Oh, look, he's probably a 40. Yeah, easy. I like the look of this bank. Oh, we can get a few flat out of here. It's going to be mid 40s, I reckon. What's that? Oh, she's about 47 there, guys. But, uh, get a couple on the board with a beer run. There we go. Oh, he let go. That was a good one. Bugger. That was a better fish. It's, it's very fishy around here. Something's pushing those little white bait up into the mangroves there. Oh! Oh, it's a shark. <laughs> okay. It wasn't a shark, it was a metre flathead. I might like do is once we've, we've just about finished this drift, I might go over to the 3 8 jig head. I can just work that plastic a bit quicker. See if I can get a reaction strike. I have to think here, we've got a nice entrance into a creek. Tons of bait, got a really good drop off. The water's clean, and I um, actually haven't really caught many flat out here before. Oh, there's heaps of bait around. Oh, oh no! No, that was a big fish. I wonder if that's the same one that got me before. Oh, bugger. Same thing, he, he just mouthed it, so it's a bit hard to tell if it was a bite or not. Good fish. Come back. Just wish these big fish would feed a bit more aggressively. Um, they've just been a little bit shy and they're just sort of mouthing it at the moment instead of a big dunk. So I've just changed back over to the 3.8 jig head, even though it's quite shallow in here, I just want to be able to work this plastic a little bit quicker and try and get a more of a reaction bite and a, and a harder bite because they're just sort of mouthing it at the moment when I'm fishing that plastic slow. Let's see how we go. Nice. Just cast that in there. He might be a little bit better. Oh, maybe a 50s model. Yeah, easy. Easy 50s. It's a bit better. Might even be pushing 60. No, just the 50s. It's giving me some good stick though. It's pretty shallow in here. I literally just cast that, went to turn my leg here around, tighten the line, and bang, he was on. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he might, he might come close to 60. Yep. Oh, we needed that. We went a little bit quiet for a while. And uh, we've got this one. So, yeah, that's that's definitely a 60. Only 59. Surprised me a bit there. 
So it's a nice 59 centimeter model. Uh, as soon as that bait hit the water, it smacked it. So I think I'll head back up there and give it another cast. But we'll let this girl go for now. So we're working this quite shallow. It's probably only a foot of water up in there. That's where we got the last one. Uh, by the looks, I've seen this at low tide. It looks like this is sort of one of the main entry points up into this big bank that they're going to be coming up. So if they're going to be concentrated anywhere at the moment, it would probably be here. And as that tide gets higher and higher, they'll, they'll push up onto that flat. So I'm just giving this spot one last drift. Um, honestly, I'd probably be better off just moving on, but because I haven't fished here very often, I just want to go through one more drift. Oh, that was actually a hit. I just want to go through one more drift and just have a look at the ground. See if I can pick up another fish. Uh, sometimes you've got to sacrifice catching fish at other spots to try and figure out other spots. Just a bit of that short-term pain for the long-term game. Tons of bait around. It's always good. Just cast right on the edge of that coffee rock there. <clears throat> Still using a 3.8. You could probably go to half ounce here. Hopefully, we can get a good fish. Yeah, I'd say that there's a lot of tailor sitting there. Big. Hopefully not a tail. Oh, what are you? It's a little bit heavier now. It might be that current as well. Uh, hopefully this is a, a flatty. It's tight and deep. He might be alright this one. Yeah, he's not bad at all. He'll definitely take that. Yes! Good fish. How's that? We pulled up here probably two minutes and we've just got a cracker. Settle down. He's going to break my rod here. Oh, you beast. What a cracker fish. That's probably a good 70s model, I think. Just going to make sure I'm not going to hit anything. This is where I could really use spot lock. That is a fat fish. Oh, that's awesome. Makes up for a slow morning. Settle down for me. I'll get you out as quick as possible. Definitely get the glove for that one. Give him a quick measure as well. Oh, look at that. It's Taylor busting up everywhere there. Well, that's what we've come for. That is a good fish. Definitely go 70 this one. Just impressed about how fat he is. Don't go 69 on me. No, nah, he's gone 70. Yeah, so that fish is just bang on 70 there. That is a really quality fish that is very fat. Hopefully you can see that all right. That literally took me two minutes pulling up. So we'll get her back. Give her a little swim. She's ready to go, I think. Come on. There you go. She's not happy. All right, good fish. Probably pop back up there where we caught that one. Just have to make sure she hasn't scuffed my leader. All right, back at the spot. Current's pretty good in here. So that was on the pearl white four inch diesel minnow using the 3.8 jig head on a 3.0 hook. On the second cast of getting here. So there's tons of bait, heaps of tailor working around. If we can get another good flathead here, I'll be pretty happy. Yep, nut, no, spat it. 
bugger. So I reckon there's probably a few flatheads sitting there. That was a bit smaller, that one. You don't usually have much time to work this spot because once that tide starts ripping, it, it's all over. But I reckon those flatheads are just sitting on that little sand cove there. You might get a bigger one or two sitting on that deeper drop-off as well. We'll see if we can find them. Alright, just put a bit more scent on. I was going to head out into the bar today, but it's a little bit bumpy. I mean, it wouldn't worry me too much, but if we've got the fish feeding in here, I'll probably just stick around here. I tend to lose a lot of jig heads in the pen. Look at that, the bait's just going nuts there, so maybe if I can get this plastic underneath that bait school, away from the tailor, there might be a few good flatheads sitting underneath it. The tailor just going nuts. So I've just gone back to the chest mount, so hopefully these are picking everything up. Um, I've been using a pole just in one of my rod holders lately, but because it's been so windy, you haven't been able to hear me speak, so I thought I'd chuck the chest mount on. You can probably hear me a bit better. I just hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, another great thing is too, is because it's on my chest, I don't have to suck my gut in for the camera. It makes things a bit easier for me. Oh, oh, it's Taylor. Just work that parallel line like we've been talking about. Still got a ton of fish feeding here. There's heaps of tailor. Hopefully they leave me alone. There we go. Ah, oh, it's a tailor. It's not a terrible tailor, but we're after flatties here. It's giving me a good little fight at least. Test those knots out for me. Come on, mate. If you muck around too much, you'll get sharked. Come on, buddy. You swallowed that right down, too. Oh, that's a pretty good tailor, really. You just spat it. Good on you. Uh, he's not actually as big as I thought. He's just past 40. 42, 41, 42 centimeter tailor. This is why I love the Z-Man plastics. It's done no damage to it. Whereas a lot of the other brands, you get Taylor hitting your plastic, you're definitely changing plastic. They'll rip them in half. They do have very good teeth, those. Good fish. What is that? Taylor? Must be a Taylor. Oh! Bit me off. That was a massive Taylor. You're joking. That was a stonker. <laughs> that probably would have been a PB Taylor for me. So I'm able to drift quite comfortably here at the moment and get really close to that bank there. But as you can see, I've, I've got my lecky ready to bail me out if a good wave does come or if I do catch a good fish. All right, we're back in action. My leader is getting very, very short. Oh, there's some really good tailor amongst those. Even though I can't stand them, if I can get a PB, smashing that plastic. Oh. What's that? Please be a flathead. No, dirty tailor. Come on, mate. Oh, look at that. What chased all them then? Jeez, give me some stick. Something just really scared those sailoring. 
Come on, mate. They're not even that big. Oh, there we go. Oh, Taylor smacking it again. Come on. Look at that. He's got like 10 mates with him. Come on, buddy. You're, you're ruining me flathead bite. They're pretty healthy fish. Yeah, no, wrong way. Little blood and crap all over the boat. Right over there, make sure that drops straight down. Just flick that over that ramp. Look at that, those tail are going right up. Right up in the shallows there. That's nuts. Oh, yep. Oh, it's a tailor. Come on. Spit it out for me, mate. Oh. What about a little chopper? These are all, I would say, legal quite easily. Let go of that. There we go. Look at that. Plastic's still good. It's a bit bent. Just twist that around. It's just still going. So that tide's starting to come out now, so I probably won't be able to fish here for very long because I want to get to my outgoing tide spots. So some spots will definitely fish better than others at different parts of the tide. Just because a spot hasn't produced many fish on a particular part of the tide doesn't mean there's not fish there. You might just be fishing it at the wrong tide. So just a bit of gear talk while it's a bit quiet and before we head to our next spot. So I'm using an... What do we got? That's a tailor. You interrupted me, mate. You're gonna think I did that on purpose now. Come here. So just back to that tackle talk. I'm just using a two and a half thousand series Akuma ITX, and I've got that in the high gear. I love the high gear models. And I'm also running a TT Rods Black Mamba. Um, oh, look at that, Taylor busting up everywhere. There we go, another one. Um, he just realized he's hooked. As far as the line goes, I'm running 10 pound braid and um, 14 pound leader. Most of these tailor of the day have been decent quality. Definitely legal. That's probably about 10 tailor. And I'm doing everything I can to avoid them. He's got white. Look at all of that. He just spat out 20 white bait, I reckon. All right, I'm gonna give here a couple of quick flicks. Um, I won't hang around for too much unless we get some good hits. I'm using green lantern now. Water's really nice and clean in there. It's not too deep, so it's a good color to use. I always do very well on this particular plastic when the water's clean. All right. Let's see if they're biting here. There we go. What is that? Oh, I just spat the hooks on me. Oh, the size of that one. There we go. Oh, don't tell me you spat it. No. It's coming straight at me. He's only a four. Oh no, he's not bad. Yes, mate, get the net ready. What's wrong with you? Oh, he's, he's trying to lose the fish, are you? Well, that's not bad. He's probably close to 60, I think. Or maybe not. I don't know. 
Not as big as I first thought. So there, it's a good sign. We've only been here for about five minutes. And we'll take him. go guys only 53 model uh, we've just pulled up to this spot so that's quite nice and that was on the z-man trick swims you can see there in that green lantern color which i absolutely love there's a few bust ups happening right in front of us now too we'll get him back in the water yep he's swimming off good all right we'll get back up to our spot weather has just absolutely turned on for us today beautiful the last 10 times i've come out to the pin it's been blowing at least 30 kilometers an hour probably closer to 40 raging tides really dirty water and probably getting rained on half the time as well so it's, it's really nice just to come out here and enjoy this because it's yeah it's a beautiful spot Probably 40. Oh no, that was a better fish. Bugger. He whacked that, that was pretty good did see a monster here not so long ago followed my lure all the way to the end and uh, didn't take it unfortunately if we could get him today I'd be pretty happy that was a really good hit I'm just going to change this trick swim over to a pearl I think the fish are there they're just not really seeing that green lantern I, I can't even see it until it's right up next to the boat and that's probably causing us a couple of dramas so we'll chuck a pearl on there, put a bit of scent. Hopefully, that'll get their attention a bit better. And if we get a few more, if we get bites straight away, then I oh, know I need to work that area again. There we go. Not big. Little bubby. Just a little baby. Actually, that's. That's definitely a 40. Yep, so that's gone 42. Oh, she's just kicked as I've measured that up. That's fine, we'll get him back in. At least he's a legal fish. That was a good colour change. That was probably only a couple of casts from changing from that green land to pearl, and I've got a legal fish. So it just goes to show you, it is worthwhile changing that colour of the plastic with that water clarity. But if that was crystal clean there at the moment, I would definitely be sticking to that green lantern colour. It's just, with that current, it's just washing it around a bit. Oh, yep. Oh, Taylor, you're joking. <laughs> they're funny, they're everywhere. Can't get away from him. What are you doing, mate? This is, this is flathead only. Oh. Taylor, number thousand, I think. That's a brim. Oh, yeah, you pull. Brimbo! Oh, 
Oh, yep. Uh, that's her, but we'll take it. Oh, no, he's really tiny. It's about 42. Hey, mate, what's going on? Oh, hey, mate, sorry, I just got a fish. Yeah, hey, um. Are you there? Yeah, mate. Yeah, I just foul hooked a long time. <laughs> oh. Hey. Brimbo. Another brim. Oh, jeez, he is fat. That's crazy. Oh, look at that. What are the boat? Definitely a low 40s model. So I've just picked up three fish, dropped a good one. Yeah, a little time, and fair enough, they've all been pretty small, but that's pretty much that one there's got to be legal. Definitely. Just picked them up right next to the boat. Well, that'll just about do me, guys. Wasn't too bad of a morning. Uh, plenty of fish landed, lots of tailor. Lots of small flathead, but we did get a couple of decent ones. Uh, that biggest one was just pushing 70, and uh, we got a few on the 50s there as well. Uh, lots of rats too, but um, the good thing is, is those, those smaller fish, they're quite fat and healthy, which is good to see. Still tons of bait around, lots of tailor chasing them. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to get away from those tail. I caught about 15 of those today, and, and some of them were a pretty good size. Um, I did have a pretty big one bust me off as well. I reckon that was up around that 60 centimetre that mark. That bigger tail is just, uh, he whacked my lure, jumped up in the air and bit me off, unfortunately. That would, probably would have been a PB tailor for me. Um, look, not a terrible morning. It was just great to come out here and have some good conditions for once. Uh, the weather was perfect this morning. It's getting a little bit blowy now, so that's really shut down the bite period. So I'll probably just go home and relax. 